Hello and welcome back to Mars Horizon, where we're in Japan in the space race. In the last episode, we completed the milestone Modular Space Station 2. If you haven't seen the episode or previous, please find a link in the description below to take you to the playlist for this Let's Play. In this episode, we'll be focused on the next milestone, which is Mars Prep of the robotic rover. Which is... This one right here, Mars Prep Robotic Rover. Landing a robotic rover on Mars that is able to explore and study the terrain up close will provide tremendous insight into the geological history of the planet. It can also search for signs of past life and provide inspirational footage for, for millions back on Earth. So, like I say we've researched the mission. We, I believe we've got, yep, we've got the recommended or the suggested parts which is also good. It will give us some good support, good science, and it gives us the Mars preparation of 25%. So we're looking at Mars readiness. We're 38% and the Chinese are the ones behind us. Uh, sorry, the Soviets, I think that is. At 29%. So we're 72% for the Mars experience. That's just by um, by completing missions. So the more missions we do, the better it gets. Expertise is completed by completing research. I think that might be any research, but I'm assuming that, so we'll just have to see. And we've got the Mars preparation. So we've got required research, which is the crewed Mars landing with the Orion. And I think that's the very last one in the, in the chain. We do need to do some um, certain missions before we can go as well. And we've got the four preparation missions, each one worth 25%. So if I believe rightly, yes, the Orion, uh, the Orion payload is right at the end here, so... As it's going, we're going to research down the we're researching on the X-ray telescope. Then we'll go to the the Chadra. We may as well continue straight down here, and then we'll come back up for the station uh, Mars Space Station Three, the Mars Prep, and the Ground One. Once we research down to the Mars Crewed Rover, we can go on to the Mars Requirements Send Lander and the Mars Requirement Engine and Habitat and get these payloads completed for the Mars Crew Lander and the Mars Engine and Hab module. Of course, once they're all done, we then need to do this. But in theory, we need to go down this one and down this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then onto these two before we can get here. Because we really want to complete all these prep missions before we do the mission. We should be able to do it. As long as we keep the science high, we should be fine. So let's continue and get the prep. Yep, Mars Prep Robotic Rover. So we'll set that payload. Look at it. The curiosity looks awesome. Again, it's standard. We have four different types of payloads. Standard, navigation. It's a nice green one. Um, comms, which is a... What's that? A ready type colour? And a power, which is like whitey. So, the power one might be quite useful. So, it's, between the, it's going to be between the standard and the power variation. It just gives us three extra power. Compare, but it's an extra like two million. Which is quite high. So looking at this, the curiosity, you've got navigation and thrust, you've got comms, date uh, and a thrust, and then need to achieve Mars orbit and then perform the Mars descent, which is just a lot of drift and heat. So I still think the best option is to go with the trusted old standard payload. So we'll get that built for eight months time. Okay, so catching up, the Neptune flyby is 61 months away. The Grand Tour is 25 months away for the Uranus flyby, and we have the Polar Analysis, which is due in two months' time, which is the last part of that request mission. Uh, the Infrared Observatory is two months away from the vehicle being ready to go before we can start doing the launch preparations. So, this is, yeah, this is going to take eight months to do. The vehicle will probably be a year or so. Yeah, six. Yeah, just, just making sure we haven't. We're not going to run time. We've got. I think we've got quite a few years to go for this one. Yeah, should be fine. I just don't want to overshoot some of the other missions and then end up having just like a month or two left to go for the Mar the Neptune flyby. Was that will be a very short episode, which nobody wants. So, um, quick check up on the other agency. So NASA's doing the neutral buoyancy lab and the space station. The service is doing. I uh, know the. Sulkov Sky one, which is probably a vehicle of some sort, and they're doing the Mars flyby. The ESA is doing the XMM Newton and the Neptune flyby they just done. 
and the Chinese are doing the space, the, the Mars surface habitat. They've got no upcoming missions. So the Mars surface habitat is this one down here. So they went straight from the module or stay station three down to here. We're going to do it on this side here, but we have already unlocked these two. So we can get both of these done, hopefully. And like I say, just go back in there. We have a minus 25% cost for, for six months. So we need to make the most of that. We also have a deduction in vehicle cost due to the, where's it gone? This aeronautics research lab. And obviously we also already have a minus 20 percent research cost for the missions on the mission research tree. So we need to use the most out of this as well. It's only six months, so it'll probably be getting most of this X-ray telescope done and then it'll probably be gone before we get onto the, the Cha Chadra. So I believe we've, caught up now so we may as well move on to the next month we've got a new request mission the isonic sphere measurements it's okay not the best science but it's only 604 for two months but it's better than nothing i think the one that i wanted to do oh the infrared observes is what we're planning now there was another one here i believe last yeah that's gone not a problem we'll just have to keep moving forward okay the next mission is ready to go or next phase of the mission and the Infrared Observatory is ready to go. No effects. 91% launch reliability. Even better. Okay, so we could get a bit more science or just get the payload a bit better. I'm going to go for payload, I think. The science is already 9,000, so it's already good. And um, we're just going to go next month. Brilliant. we we'll first set up. I'm going to go back. So the payload analysis is ready to go. And we're just going to do an auto comp auto resolve that. Mission done. Nice and simple. Let's get that one finished off and we'll get another request mission underway again didn't get the bonus but not the end of the world so brilliant let's get that confirmed is there anything else over here so we have no request missions for mars nothing for jupiter we do need to be nice to get the jupiter impact uh, jupiter orbiter but we need to get that researched and we're still trying to complete the saturn yeah we completed the saturn flyby and the chinese are right behind well a month behind as we did it in the September of 1986 that's almost four years ago well it's four years ago so did that quite well so let's just come back anything else so there's nothing over here oh I missed that. there is a request mission out here which is only 3,000 it's not bad um, we could it'd be nice to get the orbiter done um, but we'll leave that for another another time. Tempted to do the private space station. It's the next one that seems like it's got the best um, rewards. So let's get that one underway. We have done this mission in the past before. Ah, this one has got a payload reliability of minus, yeah, minus 25 payload reliability, but increased science. Okay, not the best, so, hmm, is there anything else that's, I don't think it should be that big a deal, we can increase, um, we'll just do some training to get that back up. We might have to do that mission ourselves though, so let's just select the payload and get that built. It's quite cheap actually, why is it so cheap? Um, or has it always been, it's the Skylab one always that cheap? Anyway, uh, yeah, we we'll get the crew but it's not worth it, so let's just get the standard payload and get that built for six months time. Um, yeah, and move on to the launch. So, private space station campaign proposal. Your PR team have proposed an, e an educational campaign based around the, your upcoming private space station mission. Part of the campaign will involve high school students submitting ideas for experiments to be carried out by your crew on the station. So we can reject it or we can fund the campaign. Now yeah, we'll fund it. That sounds like a good idea. So you've approved the campaign. Your PR team know that its effectiveness will be dependent on the success of the mission, which is understandable. Okay, so we've got the inf infrared observatory. Let's get this launch. And it's raining. Of course it is. Okay, so we're 78% reinforced tank. Um, still think 
Let's go. I think we've got a good shot there making it work. Hopefully. Okay, how well did it do? Fine, seventy-one percent, nice. Continue. Okay, they're already used to being eat. We've done a similar mission in the past to the force, so yeah, just do an auto resolve on that. Brilliant. Telescope has been deployed for that observatory mission. So seventy-six size is not particularly that great, but it's better than nothing. So let's confirm. So it's, uh, yeah, it should keep our science quite high for quite a while and then it'll just drop down a little bit. Yeah, so the Space Telescope is just a lot of science for a lot of months, so it just keeps it high. What was that? Sorry, I didn't see something bottom here. So earliest November 1990, latest. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so we now have a free active mission slot, so let's see what we can do. So the EVA repair exercise seems to be the next best one. Uh, the only thing I can think of doing which would be nice to do would be Mercury. I think it's not bad science for the risk, uh, well, the risk of the reward of it. So a mission to send an advanced orbital probe to Mercury to capture a high resolution map of the crater's surface and to learn more of its geological history. It's two phases, it's only five months after the launch, nothing dramatic. So let's plan this mission. Um, we'll just stick with the standard payload, that should be adequate. Get that built and go back to the solar system. Uh, and I think that's about it really. Uh, diplomacy wise, I don't think anything's really going on apart from the Chinese have researched that. So they should have researched the ground hub now, yes. Okay, no problem at all, but that's good for them. Like I say we've got two preps under, uh, already researched, so and we've got one in planning, so I'm pretty happy with that as well. So just have to keep pushing forward. So the X-ray telescope research has been completed. Fantastic news! Uh, we've still got two months left of the reduced science, so let's go straight into the Chadar. Chadar, Chadadra. I can't say these things. These was good words. The, anyway, the Chachandra, an X-ray telescope capable of wide variety of observations from super massive, uh, from super massive black holes to supernovas. So we will get that one researched next. So it's still 25% reduced cost for two months. It's better than nothing. And we've got, it'll probably take us about five to six turns to get that done with, if as long as the research holds out, which it should do. And have we got another Jupiter has a another Jupiter comet impactor, which also comes with a specialized component. Utilizing specialized components designed by another agency can strengthen diplomatic ties, so plus 20 reputation with ESA. Okay, that's not bad, but yeah, the payload's a bit rubbish, but then the science isn't really worth it. It's mainly purely just to keep the ESA happy, which I'm not particularly interested. But it's interesting to a certain degree, but not overall exciting mission just to keep them going. Okay, giant Martian volcano discovered. Your satellite orbit in Mars discovered a massive extinct volcano on the planet, dubbed Olympus Mons, and stands at 22 kilometers high. It's the largest known volcano in the solar system. So we gained 300 support for that. Fantastic news. Uh, ESA flyby, Japan, China, Saturn. So new joint request mission on Jupiter. Yeah, research is done. China completed the Saturn flyby. Okay, and Sophie is launching the flyby. Okay, looking good. So moving on. Budget review. Halfway through tier 17, but we're still getting 765k per month. Looking good though. Okay, so the payload for the miracle history sounds good. Minus 50% build cost for level 0 vehicle parts. Let's see what we can do with that. So let's get the vehicle ready to go. Should be able to reuse one of these designs. So the Kashar seems to be the best option. The payload's still pretty good, so load the design. 
We can get the reinforced tank on there, which may as well. Don't think there's anything particularly that we want to use different here. Nope. Stick with what we've got. We could save a m it will go up by a month, but we would only save about 500, which is not very worth it for the month we're going to get anyway. We can move on to another, another mission. So stick for it internally and we will confirm. Get the vehicle built. Okay, so Neptune is 55 months away. Grand Tour is 19 months. The robotic rover is due in two months' time. Private station is two months' time and six months for the miracle history. Moving on. Just getting through it now. We're getting. Like I said, there's only so much we can do when we've got five mission slots underway. We can't do much more. Okay, so we've got maneuvering evaluation, which is 5.6k or 5.6 million, two percent, and a vehicle upgrade of launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions halved. Okay, still that's only problem with this vehicle. Thing, you just don't have a clue if you're going to have a good weather or bad weather. So it's a risky take, but there's other vehicle upgrades that are actually worth it, regardless of the weather or you're waiting for something to happen with it. So. Anyway, moving on. Moon landing was fate. A popular new documentary series is claiming it contains sens sensational, sensationally of evidence that Japan faked the moon landing. How dare they? Although a mountain of scientific evidence proves the proves the contrary, large sections of the public have been swayed by the series. So we just lost four in support. How dare they say we faked the moon landing? Okay, so the private space station has got minus 50% boost to build time, but plus 50% upper, upper stage build time. Okay. Payload is terrible, so we have to try and do something with that. So let's just confirm this. So we've got the... Let's do the Mars prep. I think we saw that pop up, but anyway. We can probably... Can't reuse the design, so let's design a new rocket. So the upper stage. The only one we can use is the new one that we just done. Okay, and... The new oh so we could use the Saturn that looks funny as anything but where is there it is that's actually got better reliability that is shocking but we can put the boost on it which gives us 99 percent that is ridiculous but that is gonna look awesome I'm gonna have to do that but um if I put that on it for 84 this is actually gonna come back at yeah, it's not particularly that much more money extra. It's only going to be 100k extra and we've got a better launch reliability. So I feel that will be the... B and actually, that's launch reliability. I thought that was payload for a second there. But no, that seems like a plan. But 13 months is a long time to wait. What's that one? Ah, that's a... Uh, you're strapping two boosters. Yeah, advanced liquid fuels on the side. It does bring the cost down. But if we select that, we've got upgrade points we could use. So we can half the negative event, which is probably not actually, that doesn't really bother us as much. Uh, we've got the onboard camera, payload reliability. So we could bring the cost down, or bring it down by a month, or I'm going to do the payload because you can get that quite high with training as well. We can give this to the Astronautica, but it will increase by three months, and it would actually bring it down by nearly a million. It will actually bring it down by a million. So I'm going to do that for three months. But then three months worth of income is about one, just under 1.2. So it's only three months. It's not going to particularly be that much. But I think bringing the cost down would be quite good. It's a shame you can't, only, you can't add more. Like I say, we've got three points. So it's a shame you can't add other upgrade points onto it. But... Now I'm happy with the launch now. Hot launch is looking great, so we should be able to get it up there and we should be able to get the training done better. The Duke Duke Duke. I like that name, we're gonna keep it. Sounds awesome. So let's save this design as the Duke Duke. Or Doc I Doc I. Confirm. And build. Yep, it'll be one year and four months. It's a long time, but I think it's worth it. Let's get the Ah, we can reuse a shuttle. So let's reuse the Tokyo this time. Because we've got great reliability on the launch, but the payload has gone down to 35%. Yeah, we need to do something with that, but we can actually put in... So it's 30% without that, so yeah, we need to get that in there. Yeah, have the advanced shop absorption. And uh, I think that's what we have to do. Um, we could put it on... May as well give it to the Astronautica again because it's four months still. 
and it brings it down by 3k, 300k. So confirm and refit the shuttle. Okay, so yeah, we've got the Neptune, the Grand Tour, the Aquatic Rover is due in 16 months, four months for the private station, and then four months for the uh, Miracle, Miracle History. Anyway, yeah, um, it looks like we may have something over here. Jupiter, has that got another one? Yeah, Galileo's Moon Flyby, that'll be interesting. Two phases, but like I say, it's just a long time, we've got to wait for it, but the science is good, but you can get some good science close at home though. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes when we get there, when we got a free mission slot. Okay, let's just... Uh, diplomacy. So they're doing the AXSRBSs, and the Saturn, Non, and Uranus for... Uh, Soviet ESA has got the Newton, the Silver Research and the Newton, and they're doing the Venus Orbit. So they're doing the 4X Long March 5, so I take it that must be a vehicle of some sort, or maybe like the rockets. And they're doomed to fly by. Looking good, so that's moving on. Just go to Mars. Okay, so it looks like both the Soviet and the Chinese have researched the ground hub, and that's about it. But they're not saying that the planet or anything like that, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Keep moving on. Okay, so the Chinese have launched another vehicle or another mission. So we've got active mission wise, we've got. Yep, two months to go for these two request missions to be ready to prepare for launch and 13 to go for the Mars prep to move forward. So the child research is done, which is great news. That's another milestone mission we can look at. And the private station has no effects on the rocket. The uh, Mercial history. So it's got 10% light. Oh god, this is going to be. Yeah, 10% launch flyability, but minus 10% for the payload. That's not the best, but can't help it. So private station. Yeah, the payload's sixty percent and that one's seventy percent. So let's look at this one. We don't need launch reliability, so it's probably best to get an electrician. So we'll use the uh Otiva. Use you to be an electrician and let's use a different scientist this time. So Ashimoto will be a sign, so confirm that mission. We may as well go for the reliability because I'm still not happy with 60%. And we'll go for November. Get up to at least 72%. So confirm that. We'll go back and prepare for the miracle history. Again, it's going to have to be payload. And it's going to have to be November as well. So two missions the same month is always good. Okay, so yeah, four months to go for both of them. So that seems to be the best option. Okay, so the payload is 80 percent so that should be okay and the rocket should be 99 so we're looking quite good there we have some more so we've got a milestone unlocked which is the x-ray telescope nice science that is yep and we have a request mission for a subsurface penetrator on mars okay looking good and we need to do some research so we could either come back and start looking at getting the modular space station and, and then onto the Zavazda, 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 or we can move on to the crewed rover. We've got no special missions at the minute to go. What is okay? So we complete two mission milestones. We get minus twenty percent for the vehicle research cost. That's not a problem. We've got a bit of time before we can move on to that. So we're going to go to this one. We may then get the Mars prep done and then go to the X-ray telescope and then maybe we're back onto the sampler. Either then it's going to be between these two. I'm tempted to go for the space station free to get the International Space Station up and running. Because the other two have already got it, so at least that way we can guarantee third place. Okay, so let's go for the modular space station free and let's get the International Space Station finished. Okay, so the next the next required module in the construction of a modular space station in low Earth orbit, once fully operational, the station will not only provide our agency with a substantial ongoing source of science, but will surely be recognised as a modern day wonder. Okay, so we are going to be fair to the to the milestone for this one, but it's better than not getting it. So we'll get onto this one and then get onto the payload. And then from there we'll make a decision whichever one we want to go here. I mean, the ground hub's already been researched, so we may as well go to the crude rover and then back over here. And then focus on these ones down here. So that's where I'm heading. Okay, moving forward. 
the agencies are looking at Mars lander, Uranus flyby, Venus orbit, and the model of the space station free for the Chinese. I thought they'd already done it. Yeah. Not sure then what that's about. Anyway, moving on. Keep going. So we're making good progress there with the science. Science is going to stay high for quite a few months there, so we should get most of that research before we start dropping off. And we've got two research, two missions ready to go now to keep that going. So we've got the private space station. Okay, next notification. And the mirror side history. So let's get this one launched. If we can. Okay, it's a nice days so of good conditions, 99%. We have the reinforced tank walls. Let's go. Okay, another successful launch. How well did it do? 14% uh, not the best, but it's still a secure launch. Okay, they're fully upgraded anyway. Uh, we've done a similar mission to this in the past, so let's just auto resolve it and move on. Okay, so it's on its way to the Mercury trajectory, and we got the bonus. Perfect, let's continue. Okay, we can now move on to this private space station. So that's ready to launch. Again, we should have a good day. Because we, just, we know we had that last time. We've got the advanced shock absorber absorption to give the payload. So, no reason not to continue. Very nice. The launch are good in this game. I give them that. Well, I give them a lot of things. This game is a really good game. So, 46% so out. Yeah, very really am enjoying playing this game. Hope you guys are enjoying watching the game. Okay, so we've done three of these missions in the past. So, let's just do an auto resolve. There we go. Nicely deployed space station. So these are the, so the request missions are really just to boost up resources, get your money up, get your science up, and keep the say help towards Mars preparation. So there you go, that's nicely the space station deployed. Didn't get the bonus that time, but still good science and good support, and we got a very good experience now on the Mars preparation. So the two astronauts now will, will be on the space station conducting research for the next 12 months, and then will be available after that. So looking at the Mars readiness, we're at 40 percent now, so we're still. So there's both the Chinese and the Soviets at 30% each, so 10% behind us. Once we get the Mars preparation mission done, that should hopefully bust, um, push that quite well. Okay, so active mission, we've got another slot available. So we have some question missions on Earth. So I'm tempted to do the funding because we're not doing low, but there's nothing else that really jumps out that's... I say this one's not very worth it for the distance of where it is, and neither is Jupiter. Because the 4,000, 2,000 is not really going yay. That's exciting to do. So, there's nothing out here to do that we're not already doing. I mean, we could start planning uh, maybe the Venus, uh, Venus orbit. But I feel that we've got eight months to go for this one. I think that one would just be... And then we've got to get to Mars as well. So maybe once we got to get to... Uh, the first phase, maybe we'll start planning another milestone. We could start planning the X-ray telescope, but I believe that will take... It's only going to take eight months to build, so it'll be the same time as... So once that's... Yeah, that'll be basically once the vehicle's ready, then we have to do the launch and then get it out there. So I think the best thing to do is let's just do a... So we could do six. That's not bad. Six hundred and six oh six, six oh four. Sorry for two over two months. That'll keep it going. Another one point two. Won't take long to do either. We don't need the money. But I feel if we don't, we take it. We might not get. Oh, but then again, it gives us an advanced weatherproofing. But I'm not particularly fussed with that because 
you don't know what the effects, what the launch life is, is or the launch conditions are going to be until you get there. So you could end up wasting a, um, a vehicle upgrade. It's a shame you can't do multiple upgrades because that with the extra space. Because but hey oh. Let's just get this mission planned, get a standard payload, but it's not looking good for the payload though. Yep, let's get that one done. It's only 64k, so let's get that done and dusted. Um, and move on. We need more research than we do money. We've got nearly 30 million, so we're doing pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. So, ESA instrument request. ESA have requested that a scientific instrument manufactured by their agency be added to your Oshami payload which is constructed constructed for your isonic measurement mission. They have offered one basically one million uh, towards mission cost in exchange. Your engineers believe they can install the instrument without any different uh, different to the mission objective though I've noted that the ESA will gain science from the mission. Well we don't particularly need this so just re reject it. So yeah we lose reputation with them but we're not particularly that fussed. We're still looking pretty well with them. I just don't see that we need to give them any additional science and we don't need the money. So, as much as anything, I'm all for humanity and pushing us to the stars as a united front. But at the minute, we are in a race to get to Mars. Okay. We're still pushing forward with the support. Um, we're still at 765k per month. So, still a long way to go to get to tier 18, but we'll get there eventually. Right, so the payload is complete. There's no effects, which is great. Should be able to reuse a design. Plenty of design options here. So, can we use them all? Yes. Um, so, we can even use that one, but that's actually the cheapest as well. But we need to trade on the reliability, so let's just go back and do a new design. So, which one? has a good to be fair I don't know what I'm doing that for because um, loaded design because these are the ones that we should be using anyway so 81 89 okay 86 86 84 so 86 it's not worth it five months for the 81 I'm tempted to use the two months for just for that one it can do the job, we can put the payload, 75% should be effective. Yeah, let's just be nice and cheap, we'll load that design. We can't put any upgrades in, can we put upgrades in that one? We could put one upgrade in this one. I'm tempted to do that actually, because I could put an upgrade in for, either one. I could bring the cost down. Now I wanted to put the advanced shop exorber in, but I can't do that on that one. I'd have to go for the Jupiter. But it's 200 something K, which is not bad. Okay, load that, load the Jupiter, put on the absorption, which then brings up to 50% payload. We could then give it to Astronautica, Astronautic for six months. 211. Cancel. No, just. Let's make it. We're not me We're not going to get much from this vehicle from this anyway. Seventy nine percent should be effective launch. So we could go for Astronautica. Yep. Yeah, let's do that. Keep it cheap. Two six two k for two months, and it's still the same. Uh, so let's confirm that and build for two months time. Keep it cheap. There's no reason to go stupidly expensive for no point. Right. We've got f uh, forty three for Neptune. Seven months for the Grand Tour. Three months for the. Mercury mission and six months for the rocket for Mars prep. Anything interesting here? Not particularly. That's all going okay. Moving on. Okay, first human in space retires. Oh, well, no. Several news outlets have paid tribute to Onisha Yuriaikai, the first ever human in space who now has retired from spaceflight. I was privileged to work with some of the smartest people on the planet. Onisha Yuriaikai commented in an interview, but even they weren't sure. That what would happen to me up there. They told me afterwards, obviously. Yeah, we don't want to scare him before he went into space. But we're getting some additional tools of support for that. Well, maybe you enjoy your retirement. You served Japanese space station with, with honour and duty. So, congratulations and see you later. 
Yep, so retired no longer available for missions. So, yep, we now lost the national. We won't recruit anyone else just yet because we've still got six. So we'll, we'll recruit when, as and when we need to. Out of curiosity, though, who's next to retire? So 2005, so you've got a few years to go. 2009, 2014. 1998, so you'll be soon going. 2005 and 2004, so you, um, Matasudi Richai, you'll be going in, in about a couple of years to go. So, six years to go or something. So, anyway, Moon has got a nice one to do. We haven't got an active mission, have we? No. So, we should be getting that. I believe we can get that shortly, though, but that'll be nice, nice little boost for science as well. One more, one more month to go, and the model space station is researched. Then we have to do the payload. Okay, vehicle is ready to go. Oh my god! So minus fifty percent launch reliability, depending for suboptimal launch windows, and increased frequency of suboptimal launch windows. Yeah, not good. Okay, training wise, it's going to have to be the payload, and it's going to have to go for July. It's going to be hit and miss. I might do that, have to do this mission myself just to get make sure we get the bonus or get not the bonus just get the mission done. We'll confirm that for four months time. Probably should have gotten a bit of better rocket, but hey ho, should still be able to get the main mission done just to get the 604 that we need. Okay, so research wise, we're going to go straight on to the Zivazda, which is a modular. Des uh, module designed for a large orbital space station with living quarters and a critical life support systems. Okay, looking good. I mean, we probably won't get that milestone. And we've got another uh, quest mission on Earth. We probably won't get that one done first because I say it's. Oh! Ah, the Soviet Union now is Russia. That's a nice little change to it because, yeah, they did change from the Soviet Union to Russia. I can't remember what year, but probably in. in in the recent upcoming years, that's a nice little twist. Okay, yeah, so uh, Russia and the Soviet Union have already completed it. Take it, yeah, it changes change their flag throughout the time, even if they didn't, yeah. Okay, so I am tempted to go for the X-ray telescope, purely because no one else has researched, no one else has even researched, so it's probably best to get that one done before. These two have already done it, so I'm not driving forward for that one, and this one's got good signs as well, so... But yes, that's... Uh, Okay, that's interesting that the Soviet Union has uh, changed. Okay, and we got another lunar... Wow, 9.3k. That is awesome. Not that we need the extra money, but still nice to have. Okay, so looking at diplomacy. And that's just doing the flyby in the Mars lander. Uh, Russia. Russia is now... Uh, we're still neutral with them, but they're doing the DCSS and the Uranus flyby. Uh, ESA still working on the XMM Newton, nothing upcoming, and the, so the Chinese are researching the 4X Long March 9 and the model of Space Station 3. So, on Mars readiness, yeah, the, so the Soviet Union are now called Russia, I've gone to 31%, so whether or not they'll slow down, it'll be interesting. I'll have to see what happens, but let's move on to the next mission. Media focus on Skylab experiment. Several news programs have featured stories about about experiments performed on your space station Skylab, including those devised by school students as part of an educational campaign instigated by your agency. One experiment gained popular attention, a study on the effects of microgravity on spider web formation. Astronaut Otfer Kai Kuhum, I really butchered your name, sorry about that, um, less than uh, if you said response has been quoted by seven news, news reports, the science is good, but there's nothing more terrifying than the spiders in zero G. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll back that one up as well. <laughs> that is scary. Um, 2000 support gained, brilliant. And the next phase of a mission is ready to go. Okay, yeah, we're just doing auto resolve, get that mission done. Brilliant, fantastic. And we got the bonus, brilliant. So Nice more su uh, support on science, and the experience has gone up. Again, so yeah, the experience at eighty percent, which is great, and uh, we just need to get that preparation up and the expertise up by completing the research. No problem. So we now have a free active slot. We don't have much. The five K is good if we're going to do that, but we have got nine point three here. We don't need the money, but we do want to get the science. So let's plan this mission. We'll do another one of this type. Um, we'll just stick with a standard payload, 
get that built for five bombs. Uh, so we're just flying through the missions now. We have plenty of uh, mission control slots. So there's no more quest missions out here. We still got the Venus Orbit to do, which I still would like to get done. So we might get that on the next time, but we'll see. Um, so active missions with fly the Neptune flyby is during 40 months. Okay. The Grand Tour is during four for the Uranus flyby. Uh, the yeah, the astronaut measurements is I'm not very confident with this one. Payload is rubbish and the and launch reliability is not the best. But still, uh, three months away for that one. The robotic rover is during three months and the studies is during five. So let's keep going. Okay, Russia's completed phase one. Oh, wrong button. And let's go to Mercury. Again. Okay. No mission sort of available. Yeah, so they've, it just seems to be they're doing the same mission over and over again. But still, next to 3,000 science, I can't complain. But moving forward. Okay, diplomacy. Don't think anything. Well, I think, yeah, so it's hard doing much at the minute. Uh, NASA's ESA is doing the same, and the Chinese are doing the same. Mars readiness, it's pretty similar. We're still 10% above, which is brilliant. Okay, so what have we got here? The Mars robotic rover is finished. Maximum mission trainer bones increased by 100%. Very nice. Okay, the Isonic measurements is ready to launch, so let's get this launched. Hopefully. Okay, so we've got a nice night launch. It's 100%, so we're at 80 one percent let's go ain't gonna get much better i don't think in worst case we didn't spend much on it did we to be fair <laughs> i think that's the sound of one isn't it as well what a nice what a nice view that was How well did it do? Wow, 6-7% is bonus. Very good, continue. And we've now got them parts uh, fully upgraded, which is bonus. So we could auto-resolve. Yeah, auto-resolve. Should be fine. Perfect, nice mission. Successful mission there. And we got a bonus. So the mission I was quite terrified they wouldn't get done. Didn't cost us that much money to do, and we got what we needed. Okay. So we've got another request mission for EVA repair exercise, which is really good because it's good science. We are one more month away from the Grand Tour by the looks of it. The robotic rover is ready to launch, so we want to do training on the payload. It's all about completing this mission, not getting the science as well. It is as well, but mainly getting the mission done. And oh my god. Um, that's not good. The next time we can do it is in February, which... In 99, we're not waiting that long, surely. When's that? May. If I select that, that's May of 1993. That's not that far away, though, not particularly. Yeah, so we've got uh, August, September. Oh, oh, there we go. I can. Yeah, so we're, we're not that far away. Just, yeah, I'd rather wait for the 30%. It gives us the full training, which gives us 90% and 99% and 99%. So let's just confirm that. It's 10 months away, so it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, 10 months away, and then after that, we then have to wait another 9 months. So it's a couple of years to go, but it's not the end of the world. It could be a lot worse. Okay, so what's happened over here? No one's researched these two that we've researched. Both the yeah the Soviets, uh, sorry, the Soviets, the Russians and the Chinese have researched the ground hab, and that is it. That's as far as anyone else has seemed to have got with that, which is great. It looks like everyone has done the Mars orbit and the Mars lander now, which is good for the agencies. So, 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 where to go next? We've got a free mission slot. Um. I'm tempted to hold fire because we've got next month we've got the Grand Tour. We then got 37 for Neptune. Um, so I think we just do a quest mission for the EVA. Keep the science boring in. Just do a standard payload. Get that done for three months time. And we'll move on. Okay, so the Grand Tour is ready to go. Yep, so active missions. We can now start looking at the, the Uranus flyby. We've 
got the yeah, Robotic Rover, Neptune. Everything else seems pretty good there. Yeah, so we've just got to do this, um, the, uh, the next phase of the Grand Tour. So, we may as well continue then. Yep, let's continue with the Grand Tour. Okay, so phase four for the Grand Tour of Uranus. Flyby. Okay, complete the Uranus flyby. We need 23 comms, 23 data, and 5 navigation. We need for the bonus of 45 comms, 45 data, and 10 navigation. We've got power, and we have to deal with the heat, which needs to be below... Okay, so we need to keep it above zero, but below four. So that's what end at the end of the turn if the above conditions are not met. So we need to keep it between, basically... Um, one and three preferably so we'll see how that goes so how do we want to deal with this so we can do some power into comms and heat we could then turn the comms and the heat into take some heat away for three and two we can then power comms so we probably need to keep, yeah, we need to get three because we're going to lose two every turn, so we'll keep between, yeah, so we'll have to do that. So, power and uh, navigation to, and heat. Use the com navigation to get additional heat, which is four, for four comms and f two data and two heat. That will keep us to three. We'll drop below two. Yeah, drop below two would then give us to one, so that's where we want to try and keep nowhere else. Okay, so we don't want any more heat unless we get rid of it. We then probably want to use some use some comms and navigation. We'll see how it goes. I'm not very confident at the minute for this bonus, but we'll see. Um, we could use some power, navigation and heat. But then we can't do that one unless we get some more comms. That would work. I just feel like if we want to, we need to get this navigation. We only need to get 10, so it's just a case of getting... Get some additional... Yeah, we can use some heat here. Okay, that seems appropriate. Let's just get on and do something. So, get some, get some figures in there and see how it goes. So, we've got some power to navigation heat. Uh, navigation to comms, data and heat. Uh, data, navigation and comms. Um, power, navigation and heat to get some more data. Data to navigation and comms. And navigation to data, comms, and heat. So let's confirm. Okay, 91% is great. It's additional data. We've got a fail, so we need to keep an eye on how these fails affect us because we wanted three. So it's going to reduce us by one comms. I'm happy to accept that because nothing else is crossed out. So let's accept that. Yep, 70% is good. It's 38 is good. Yep, fantastic. Even better. So that takes us back up to three. System check, so it's between zero and four. Brilliant. Okay, so we just need to make sure we, we need to end a mission on three to start a mission on one. Okay, so we just need to get additional heat. So let's try and aim to get some more comms this turn. So if we use some power to get some com, uh, some data, sorry. If we use a navigation and data to get some comms. Right, we need to get an additional two. Is that taken away? No, that adds that one. So let's get rid of that. We need to get some additional comms. So if we use two, yeah, two data to get some comms, use the co uh, the navigation. So I get the navigation to give us the heat. And then that will take it away. And that's too much. Ah, it's getting complicated now. Keeping everything in, in track. So let's get that. So we get some data to some comms and some navigation. Uh, some data to navigation and comms. Use the navigation to get comms, data, and heat. After that, we could do with getting some more comms. So. If we did that, uh, comms, comms and heat to get some data navigation, then do the navigation into comms, yeah, 
Just concerned that we're going to, we're getting high with the comms, but not with the not with the data. Okay, we'll do that, I think. So we'll get some data into navigation and comms. Navigation to comms, data and heat. Comms to data, comms and heat to data and navigation. Navigation to comms, data and heat. Power to navigate, uh, power to data and power to data. That'll keep us with what we need to and we've got five power left over. Okay, so that was looking well. 49%. 6% is not the best. Okay, so if we did power, we would lose, if we don't do it, we would lose two, two comms. But we know if we use a car, uh, sorry, if we use power, we get two data. But we know that if we use one power, we get four data. So let's just accept that loss. Okay, that's fine. Brilliant, 79% is good. And a 73. So it's now going to check. The reach is, yeah, between 0 and 4. And then we'll lose some heat. Okay, got that under control. That's nice to know how that's working. So, we still got 5 power, which is good. We need to get some heat. So we need to get some additional comms. Uh, so additional navigation, because that's the heat we want to use there. But we could just, we could use some, could turn into some power to heat and comms. Um, and then get rid of one. No, that wouldn't work either. We'll have to do that twice. We're using a lot of power there, which I don't like. So let's turn some data into some uh, navigation and comms, and then turn the navigation into data, uh, comms, and heat. Okay. With that in mind, we then need to... Four turns to go. Got to be careful that I want to leave the, the power as best we can do. We need to try and get the comms up a bit higher, but to get the comms up, we need to use heat. We need to do that and then to that. It's not the best, but it gives us yeah, it gives us more comms. So we do two data to free com, free navigation and free comms. Three navigation to four comms, two data and two heat. One co one nav one power, navigation and two heat to five data. Two data to three navigation to three comms. Three navigation to four comms, two data and two heat. And the power to four data. Which will leave us three turns. I suppose we're halfway and we're getting, getting there with things. We just need to then make sure we have enough power and or heat comms left over. Let's move on and just see how things go. We can only do the best we can. Okay, so far so good. 52. Yep, 10% is not the best at all. Okay, so if we resist, we will gain one data. I don't think that's worth it, so let's just accept it. Okay, another fail. Okay, so we need to... S We're going to lose one, so there's no particular reason to do that. So we lost two two data in that turn, not the end of the world. And we lost some heat. I don't like this heat, this approach. So I like just to max it out and forget about it. But anyway, we need to use some more... Yeah, two data to free navigation and free comms to use the free... Free navigation to get four comms, two data, and two heat. That's the heat done. We're getting there with the comms. Just need to try and get the navigation up a lot higher. Um, yep, we could just throw a load into that and then reach. We could do two and then recharge. That may be the best option. Yep, we'll go for that. Let's confirm that and go. Okay, 84% is good. 96 is great. So gain an extra navigation. Oh, sorry, extra data. 47 is good. 73 is good. And the final one of 86. Fantastic. Alright, that gave us a big massive push. Okay, so we lost another two heat. So we need to gain that back. 
So we need to get some data, two data to free navigation and free comms. Turn the free comms, so the free day, free navigation to four day, four comms, two data and two heat. That deals with the the heat situation. We've now got the comms sorted out. We just need to get some additional data. So to get the data, we could. Yeah, uh, well actually no, we could then just recharge twice. That would work. Just need to ensure the last turn, we need to get a minimum of four, 10. Okay, so let's play it a bit safer. Because I'm just thinking as if we, we turn some heat. And it gives us some navigation left over. Okay, we could recharge. That might be the best option actually. So we'll turn two data to free navigation and free comms. Turn three comms into four data, two sorry, four comms, two data and two heat. Two data, two heat to free comms and two navigation. Two data, three to free navigation and free comms. Three navigation to four day four uh, four comms, two data and two heat. And then turn two data into free navigation and free comms that way we are five short of the navigation and what's that seven short for the data and we've kept and we've got at least a bit of power left over for the last turn as long as we don't have too many fails that we're going to regret all right so if we resist will we gain one more navigation but we have to resist because if not we'll lose two command slots so let's resist it oh no and we can't do anything about this now. So the output is... Okay, we just have to accept it. We can't do much about it. As long as we don't fail on the heat, we should be okay. Okay, 97 is great. So we gain additional data. Okay, and 99% great. So we've got another data there. Ooh, quite scared though, because obviously we only had no... No power to resist anything. Okay, one well, last turn now. So we just need to... We don't need to touch the heat because it's, it's perfect. But we might have to do something. Oh, well, that was a close one. So let's just... Uh, we need to get some comms and some navigation. Sorry, data and navigation. So... I could do with recharge at least three times. Um... So we could do two there, but that's not going to be good enough for... So we could turn some comms, yeah, some navigation to get some additional... Yeah, four. Okay, that would deal with the heat, give us the navigation, just need to get some comms. Um, better be away to this, otherwise this mission's been terrible. We can recharge. Okay, if we've recharged, we would be able to get one there. Two. And we'd be one short. Okay, so navigation, we need to dual one here, so if we can get some heat generated by that, that would give us that, and then if we recharged that would do it, but would have no no fail mode, so that's not the best. Um need to reuse the comms. The comms we've got plenty of, but can't do much with that. Um, need to recharge at least twice. If we did that, that would give us the comms to the data we needed. Hmm. So... 
Okay, so that's one approach. Okay, so we'd get 54 for the 45, 47 for the 45, 10 for the 10. But we did have no, we wouldn't pass the mission because we failed on the heat. The way it's going, I can't see being able to actually get the bonus. So I might have to accept the consequences of just the pass, which is better than nothing. So we need five data and five comps. I mean, we've we've completed the mission. That's that's as long as we've got we've got the resources for the mission. So it's not the end of the world. As long as we keep the heat in the in the right in the quiet position, we're fine. So we may as well at least attempt something. If we do that, we'll be five. We'll be getting what we need there. No, that won't work. Okay, okay. Um, may as well just do. We've, we've done the mission, so even if we fail, some we fail. It's not the end of the world. As long as we keep the, as long as the heat, we don't touch the heat, we'll be fine. So if we recharge twice. You can use the power to get some. Okay, so use some data. Use the power to get some navigation and heat. We could then turn the heat we just generated into with two comms into free data and two navigation. We then need to generate some more. Yeah, we could do that actually. That would work. I think that's the best option to get. I uh, no, we lost. Can't do because we lose the um, the heat. <clears throat> so we could do that. Okay. Then we could generate two heat there. And then do that, which then wouldn't work. Oh god, this is a tough one. Can't see he's been able to generate enough to get what we need. So we could do that. Nope, that would have worked. So we wouldn't have enough navigation. Okay, um, I might just. Yeah, I can't see any way that's going to be able to achieve this, but I'm sure there's some sort of configuration there, but I'm not going to risk it. We've we've achieved what we need to achieve, so let's just complete the mission. Let's just double check. 56, yeah, 23, 40, 5 and 5, and we've got the, and we've got the heat in the right place. So complete the task. Complete. Like I say, I'd rather get the mission done than try to... Like I say, 50 bonus is better than better, but let's make sure we get the task complete. It's a shame, but it is what it is. Yeah, so phase four is done, so again Neptune's 36, Grand Tour's got 36 more months to go till it's Neptune. Which is the same time as the Neptune gets there as well, by the looks of it. Okay, so the Mars prep is due in nine months time. Uh the study's due in one month for the payload and the payload for EVO is two months. Okay, so moving on. The Grandest Tour. Your PR team has once again suggested a publicity event to promote the success of the Grand Tour mission so far. This will result in an immediate 1,250 support boost, in your boost for your agency. However, members of the team have suggested that choosing to delay again would result in an even greater result boost after the next planetary visit. Yet they have warned that if mission fails, blah blah blah. Uh, now we're going to keep delaying. No reason not to. We'll just keep moving keep moving on to the next phase and then go from there okay so the payload the Apollo payload is done the contract effect is increased by 100% okay that's good okay so let's get the vehicle done so we can reuse the shuttle okay we will use the Tokyo and uh, we've got six oh, six on this one now we'll get the payload increased so we'll select that and we'll probably go with the so it'll in houses, yes, there's a big boost there, so it's 60%. So we may as well take the month and get it down to 460. So refit, uh, oh, yes, can't do that again. Yep, confirm that. Keep trying to do a moon mission, and use the shuttle, but I can't be, can't do that. So it's the the Atta CR is the best one. 
we may as well go for the can you tell me there's no other one we can use yeah we need to start getting some more research on here but anyway get the yeah get the reinforced walls to get 91% launch we can get the contractors in but it, it'll increase by night by five months but it would reduce the price down by one point something K 1.5 K now just do it for three, 13 months get that done and build right so yeah Neptune 35 36 for the Grand Tour 8 for the launch for the Mars prep yep um, studies yeah okay moving on okay so the research is now done for the payload for the modular free EVA payload is done 100% uh, boost to the supplementary so supplementary boost to reliability bonus increased by 100% okay move on can we reuse the shot this time? we can indeed so let's reuse the Tokyo we'll keep with the advanced shop absorption to get the payload higher so if we went to yeah, so it's still four months, so you may as well just get them to build it and re or sorry, refit it for the, the price increase, decrease. So that's during four months and 12 months for that one. Okay, so nothing more we can do, but let's just check diplomacy. Uh, so they're doing the Space Station 1, Mars Lander, the Yenisei 1, so that's probably a, pay, a rocket of some sort, the commercial satellite, Uranus flyby X-ray telescope. They're still researching the 4X Long March 9 and the modular space station. Research is now done. So, as both the Russian and the Chinese have already got the Mars prep, let's go across and do the Mars prep crewed rover. So, having access to a human rated, oh god, so what's that say? Having access to a human rated rover on Mars would greatly aid our crew when it comes to exploring the planet and achieving their scientific objectives. This mission involves landing the rover on Mars ahead of the later crewed mission. Okay. So we'll get that underway. So we'll do them. We'll do this one. Then we'll go down here, and then we'll start pushing through into here. We'll have to go and get some additional vehicle upgrade parts at a later stage. Okay, so we've got the orbital radio, which is not the best, and we have another milestone unlocked. Okay, so we fully have unlocked all of Earth missions, and we only have these two left to do, which is nice. Okay, so. Um, yeah, ESA. Oh, ESA, what are we doing? The, okay, they've yeah, they've cracked on with that one. Not a problem. Moving forward. Skylab crew return. Japan astronauts have safely landed on Earth after spending 12 months aboard the space station Skylab. Astronaut Otiva, in famous sphere of in famous fear of spiders, has been a popular topic in the media. My crewmate removed the spider from its box and claimed it had escaped. The astronaut complained. In a television interview, I didn't speak to them for a week. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Anyway, uh, yeah, gain 300 support. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, so both of them two now have returned to active duty. So moving forward. Got a new request mission, a private space station again. But again, we've got no more mission slots, so we can't do anything about it. Okay, so just move forward. Okay. Making good progress with tier 17, but we're still getting 760k per month. Okay, so looking at this, we have, yeah, 14 months. They've already researched that. No one else has researched it. Mars. No one's researched that point. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Japan, that says, yeah, four. Yeah, so we're four months away from launch. No one else has researched it. No one else has researched the sample retriever. Yep, the Soviet and... So it's the Russians. That's going to get. I'm going to keep saying so. It's but the Russians have uh, and the Chinese have researched the ground hub, and no one's researched the crewed rover. So that's all looking positive. Mars readiness we're at 43 percent, and the so the Russians are at 32 percent. We're at 81 percent for the Mars experience and 47 for the research. Looking good. Let's continue. Okay, so the EVA repair exercise is ready to go. The vehicle mission training both increased by Humson, but the payload reliability has been decreased by 10%. Should be able to get that back up with some sort of training. So, yeah, that's fine. So we just need to get um, 
We may as well get a scientist, so we'll get Maria on the case for this one. And let's use electrician again, so we'll get lots of it in there as well. So we'll get you two confirmed. And we will... Okay, vehicle training... Oh, great. We don't need it on the on the launch library, so let's just put it onto the uh, payload. Again, we'll go to July. Let's go to July to get the extra 3%, so it can go to 80 80%. So we'll confirm that set up for five months time. The robotic rover is due for launch in three months. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, move on. Okay, let's just do a quick uh, check of how things are going. So we're one month away from launch. No one has done anything else over on Mars. Earthwise, we've got a solar wind monitoring, which is not the best, but it's okay. And the no one even researched the Grand Tour yet. And nothing much is happening there. Diplomacy, NASA is not researched anything. They've got Mars Lander. They're still researching the NSI and the commercial satellite. Space plane runway. Okay, X-ray telescope. Long map. Yep, so what's the space? So that's this one here. So space planes can operate in space as well as serving as an aircraft an aircraft in Earth's atmosphere, making them a tremendous reusable asset for, spa for a space agency. So that just, yeah, minus 25% refit and c refit time and cost when reusing shuttles. That's interesting. That'll be quite good to get. But again, it's we need to do 8,000 or 10,000. So that's vehicle build. So that's quite good. Vehicle build cost or improved launch probability when replaced next to a medium or launch launch pad. Okay. Yes, there's quite a bit of research points there if we get any of that, but we'll have to wait and see. But let's get on to the launch of the robotic rover. Okay, 99% for the payload, 99% for the launch. Looking good. Please be a good day. It does look like it. Okay, so 99% launch. Had a bit of a thing there, but yeah, so we've got adequate conditions at 2%, 99% launch reliability. We've got the advanced shop absorption for the vehicle payload. Okay, let's go for a nice night launch. Okay, that'll look quite successful. 50%. Nice. I'll happily accept that any time. And we'll get both level 1 up on these two parts. The boost and the upper stage. Let's continue. That's kind of been clipped at the end here, but that's fine. So the robotic rover is ready to go. Okay, so we need to enter Mars transfer orbit. Okay, so we need 6 navigation and 6 thrust. We've only got 2 two commands to do it uh, two turns to do it with five commands so yeah six navigation six thrust 11 navigation 11 thrust for the a bonus comms data and power are secondary and we're going to lose a thrust every turn so we can only do the calculate thrust which is four so we've got a good payload reliability 99 percent, so we should be able to play this a bit riskier not risky but okay No. Hmm, okay. So we've got five commands. We need to redo this on the last term. So we need to get to 11. So we have to do three commands of this one, which means we need six, six uh, data and one comms. But how are we going to get all the navigation then? Could do with getting some comms. So we could turn some power and comms into that to then gain additional yeah and then after that we can turn the spare comms into yeah okay my concern now is we need to generate f uh, six yeah we're still need to generate okay we do three turns we need three turns of this calculator for us to get the 11 frost it will give us 12 for us should we say and it will give us three uh, free navigation which would give us the 11 navigation we need we've got six data sorry seven data which is we need six and we just need to get some additional uh, comms 
which we can just do one power. Yep, so that should be fine. We shouldn't have major issues with getting these successful. And 90%. We've got an extra navigation, which is perfect. And uh, extra data, two data. Brilliant. Okay, this is why I like getting the payload as high as possible as well. Okay. That does look nice now. That's not clipped in the corner. Right, we are on the last turn. So we need to get some power to comms. And then do the calculated for us three times. Measure a recharge as well. So, yeah, we'll give us first navigation and 12 thrust. Confirm. Okay, so 42% is good. 44. 22. And a 14. Brilliant. First phase successful. Okay, so we have got three phases to go here. We've got the bones for this one. So let's continue that. Well, that was a, a nice successful launch for the most Mars Prep robotic rover. So I think we'll end the episode there now, as it's uh, quite a long one anyway. So thank you very much for watching episode 23 of my Japan's Let's Play. If you like the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode of Mars Horizon.